Hello, this is part two on my solar tracker and how I built my solar tracker limit switches. Um, when operating this solar tracker, I needed a way to ensure that I couldn't overextend or underextend the solar panel. So I built these uh, limit switches. And this limit switch is going to break the contact when it's traveling either west or east. I start with the uh, metal finger that I build out of a uh, piece of 3 8 rod and I shape that into a flat wedged shape piece using a grinder and I bolt that above the pivot point on the, uh, the main tracker. I use a cap for a 4 inch PVC. I drill a hole near the bottom and then I make a slit for the uh, finger that fits through that's going to actually contact the uh, the two limit switches and open the uh, the contacts uh, for the either west or east travel. I bolt that into the uh, I use the same bolt that's uh, that the uh, panel hinges on and I bolt that on to there. These are the limit switches I use. These are little roller limit switches and they can either be wired for normally open or normally closed. I have them wired for normally closed and so when the uh, finger hits it, it'll open the contact, thus shutting, shutting off the motor. Now what I do to get them in position initially is I use super glue. And I super glue them in place and uh, make sure that they're in the right position. I, I operate the solar panel both directions and then, uh, and then make sure it's, it operates properly. Then what I'll do is I'll come back and uh, drill holes and run uh, metal screws through that. On the other side I use a small piece of uh, 4 inch PVC and another cap and once they get wired in I snap it together and this is the housing for the limit switch. Now that's all that's left is to uh, wire this up and in a future video I'm going to show you how I, um, how I wire this into the main system and how I actually operate my solar tracker. So for now, thanks for watching. Any questions, please uh, comment in the uh, comment box. Thanks.